OK. So what we're going to be working on is SSS and SAS congruence. So we talked about when we have two angles that are congruent, that means they have the same measure. And when we have two line segments that are equal measure, those have the same line segment. So what we're going to do for this one is we, now we want to be able to show that two triangles are congruent. And if two triangles are congruent, that means they have the, their angle measure is exactly the same, and the lengths of their sides are exactly the same. All right? So let's write that down, please. If you have two triangles that are equal, are congruent, therefore, and the lengths of all sides are equal. That means everything is exactly the same with both triangles. Exactly the same. Every angle is equal to every angle, and every side is equal to every side. All right. So there's going to be two ways that we're going to be able to show that triangles are congruent. And the first way is what we have side, 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 which we call SSS. And what SSS is going to tell us is if we have two triangles, all right? Now remember, when we apply these little tick marks, if you guys remember, when we were talking about an isosceles triangle, I would give like two angles a little tick mark like that, right? What that meant is that length is equal to that length, correct? Yes? That's why we applied the tick marks. That length is equal to that length. So if I have on these two triangles, I say, that length is equal to that length, what that is telling you is that side is equal to that side. And then if I give this one two tick marks and that one two tick marks, what that is telling you is that side is equal to that side. And on the third one, if I have three tick marks here and three tick marks there, that's telling you that side is equal to that side. And ladies and gentlemen, when we have all three sides equal to all three sides, you guys can see this is what we call side, side, side. Each side is congruent to the other side. So guess what? These two triangles are congruent in measure. If they're congruent in measure because their sides are equal, what do you think that tells us about their angles, Alex? What do you think their angles are? Do you think their angles are going to be equal in measure? Yeah, it will be. All right. The next one. Side, that, so this is what we call side, side, side. The next one is side, angle, side. OK? When you guys are looking at side, angle, side, what we have for that when doing side, angle, side, what we have to have is we have to have sides that are equal in measure. But then we also have to have an angle that is in between our two sides. So let's say we have these two sides are equal in measure. These two sides are equal in measure. For it to be side, angle, side, listen how I say it. Side to angle to side. This angle has to be between the two sides. All right? So if you are able to find a triangle that has side lengths that are equal, an angle in between the sides, and then the other side is equal. Therefore, you have side, angle, side. And guess what? Side, angle, side tells you that the rest of the sides and the rest of the angles are going to be equal as well. So they'll be congruent. Just make sure your angle is between your two sides. OK? Any questions? You guys ready to try some? All right.